One of the most beautiful things about video games is the fact that you can play any sort of game. You can pretty much detach yourself from reality and put yourself in situations that maybe you would never be put into. If you want to be a demon blaster and blast through demons, you can do that. There's a game for that. You want to be a basketball superstar. Also, you can do that as well. You want to be a fighter in a martial arts game. You could do that too. And that's really one of the best things about video games is it allows you to enter different worlds and different situations that you probably would get into in your regular life. While looking through the Nintendo Switch eShop looking for games to check out though, I've noticed something. There's a growing contingency of a certain style of game that seems to be coming up more and more frequently. These sort of, I guess, semi-erotic games keep popping up on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and I never really see people talking about them. So I thought to myself, you know what? Somebody needs to take one for the team here. Somebody needs to take that bullet and check out these games because maybe they're actually fun. Maybe they're actually decent games that are just sort of clouded in this sort of semi-erotic fixation that people view these games as. So I decided to check out five Nintendo Switch eShop games that sort of had an erotic feel to them. And in this video, that's what we're going to talk about. And really, you could you could tell by the title, you could tell by the thumbnail, m mistakes were made. M mistakes were made. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's take a look at these interesting games. Hey, RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards! The puzzle genre of games can be really fun. You have games like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker and Zack and Wiki, these more robust puzzle-like experiences. And then of course you have more standard puzzle games like Tetris and Meteos on the DS, more traditional things. But this puzzle game that we're going to check out first on the Nintendo Switch eShop is, is literally a puzzle game. It's not a game that's based on puzzles, it's an actual puzzle game, as in with puzzle pieces. And that game is Animated Jigsaws, Japanese Women. Well, that's a hell of a title. You know, I really know what I'm getting into with this. It is a jigsaw puzzle game featuring Japanese women. So yeah, let's dive into it and see what it's about. So Animated Jigsaw's Japanese Women is literally a puzzle game. There are puzzle pieces that you assemble, much like you would do with a real puzzle. But what makes this game interesting is that it's animated. And that means that all of these puzzle pieces are constantly moving. And honestly, it's one of the most terrifying and nauseating things I've ever experienced. Because at least with an actual puzzle, you could sort of look at the puzzle pieces and sort of figure out how you're going to assemble this puzzle. But with these puzzle pieces constantly moving, it really kind of freaks you out. Because you'll just have like a set of eyes moving and like a part of a mouth just sort of smiling at you and it's like Jesus Lord what is this there are several different puzzles that you can check out in this game if you are really into puzzles and that's pretty much it you can adjust the background to make it a little bit different but the main goal of this game is to assemble puzzles and what's really weird about this game though is that it has a four player mode where you can use a single joy con and play with your friends imagine inviting some friends over to the house and you're like hey you want to play some Nintendo switch and they're like yeah let's play some Doom, let's play some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and you're like, no, 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 dude, I've got animated jigsaws, Japanese women, and we're gonna put together puzzles. Honestly, I couldn't get very far in this game because the puzzle pieces moving really freaked me out, but there's really not a whole lot to see. There's a couple different puzzles that you have to assemble, and that is pretty much it. But the real kicker of this game is that it is a $10 game. A $10 game! I've played tons of great Nintendo Switch eShop games for $10 that are much better experiences than this. But if you really like puzzles and you really like these puzzle pieces to constantly be moving and freak you out, then this is the game for you. I highly recommend it if you are deep into puzzles and deep into freakish movements. But if you're not into those two things, stay away from this game. There are much better games on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now, admittedly, animated jigsaws, Japanese women, is pretty low on the erotic scale. There's not much going on in the terms of sexy. But this next series, this next trilogy of games, the Pure Electric Love series, now we're gonna start to ramp things up here. Now, What's really interesting about this game is that it's not really a game whatsoever, but they decided that this was such a phenomenon, this was something that we definitely needed on the Nintendo Switch US eShop, that they needed to do a trilogy of games. Now, when you look at the listing for this game, you get all sorts of interesting information. Electric Love, a love-likeness pseudo-talk game, Electric Love, that is a topic in the smartphone. A little embarrassing, and a conversation that pounding romance skill up. Is that 
Is that English? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Romance skill up? Like, wh what? Like, what is embarrassing about this? I guess it's embarrassing that I bought this game for $5 and have it on my Nintendo Switch, but each one of these games has this very interesting description. And when you look at the description more, you can see that there's a description of the actual women that you will be talking to in this game. What is pure electric love? Reply to questions from her. Please please her. Sometimes a little annoying. I can't say that word. Is important for love affair. Mail arrives according to the content of the conversation. You also have movies attached. <laughs> well, this sounds like an awesome experience that I'm just going to be absolutely blown away with. Move over, Super Mario Odyssey. We don't need you anymore. We have the Pure Electric Love Trilogy to dive into. So starting up this game, you quickly realize you're not going to get far in it because it's not an actual game. All you do is reply to a conversation that you probably won't understand because everything is in Japanese here. Literally everything from the menus to the dialogue in the game is in Japanese. And it's available on the Nintendo Switch's US eShop. Who approved this game? Who let this game go through the rankings and say, you know what? There's no way in hell these Americans are gonna know what the hell is going on because it's all in Japanese, but let's put it on there anyways. And the crazy thing is there are three of these games. I checked out all three of these games and they're essentially the same thing. Somebody talks to you on a phone that sounds like a terrible recording. I've heard better recordings from rappers in jail who are recording a new mixtape than I hear on this. It's just like so low quality. Listen to this. <laughs> Like, were these conversations recorded in 1997? I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But all I know is that as you advance through the game, you start to get movies and you can like see the girl talking to you in a movie and then there's pictures that unlock. I, I, I don't know, but all I know is I don't like this. And all three of these games are exactly the same. There are just different women that are featured in it. But here's the kicker. Here's the real kicker about this. These are $5 each. So for $15, you can get this trilogy. But if you really enjoy it, if you really enjoy not having any freaking clue what's going on, there's DLC. If you want to expand your experience, you can with DLC for this game. Who decided that DLC was a good idea for this game? And I use the term game loosely because I don't know what's going on here. It's literally a conversation, a one-way conversation where all of a sudden you start to get pictures of this girl and movies of this girl. Like, good lord, man. Good lord. Who decided this was a good idea? Who approved this for the Nintendo Switch? eShop, but I digress. But the crown jewel of this video has to be Senran Kagura Reflections. Now, I know the Senran Kagura series has been around for quite a while. I know there was like a game on the Wii for it. It seems like it's a popular series, especially in Japan. I think they've done like anime based on it and stuff like that. So it's a very popular series. But Senran Kagura Reflections is a game that honestly makes me feel very, 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 very uncomfortable. This game has given me feelings that I've never experienced in a video game before. So the game starts out and you meet this girl in a classroom and she tells you that she's trying to like explore herself literally that's what she says to you and I'm like yo you know uh, I, I don't not, no no like no no and then you have to touch her hands and I really started to feel very awkward with this situation I didn't really like what I was experiencing and like I, I was just like no this is this isn't good this isn't normal and then I started to look around at the different game modes that are featured in this game you have reflexology dress up mini reflexology and diorama diorama you could pose her in your favorite positions and you can like adjust clothing and stuff like that and make it really really inappropriate and honestly I did not feel very comfortable doing this but the real kicker is the mini reflexology mode in this game because that's that's where things just go downhill very fast so now you're alone in the classroom with this lady I'm assuming it's a lady of 18 years old of course and you can do whatever you want and like yeah like all of a sudden there's a water hose and you can spray her with the water hose and I'm thinking to myself you're not a firefighter where did this water hose come from am I R. Kelly her? Am I R killing a girl in a classroom on a Nintendo Switch game? That seems very, very inappropriate. And then you can enter intimacy mode by pressing a button and then your hands can move wherever you want and you can do whatever you want. And no, at this point in time, I turned the game off because I realized 
this is not a game for me. This series of five games that we have covered on the channel today are not games for me. Now, if you like games like this, like that's cool. But as a, you know, I, I, I can't, I, I just, I just can't. Like these games are not really games to me. You know, this is a simulation experience with Senran Kagura reflections that maybe, maybe you like stuff like that. I don't, I don't speak Japanese. So the electric love, love electric, whatever the hell it's called series, it's just pointless for me. And animated jigsaw puzzles, honestly, freak me out and I'm gonna have nightmares about this they should make horror movies about this kind of stuff not a Nintendo switch game I spent $35 downloading these games and honestly I regret every penny spent but at least it made for a somewhat entertaining video I hope because good lord I'm, I'm gonna have nightmares I feel like I need therapy now just to sort of scrub these games from my memory but those are five Nintendo switch eShop games that I'm just like why are these on the Nintendo switch eShop but if you've played these games let me know what you think of them in the comments section down below and as always thank you for checking out this video hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and of course as always i will catch you guys on the next video later